So, Mr. McAllister, what's been bothering you recently? Every year, every single year, me and my family, my cousins, my uncles, my mother, my father, we all decided to go on a family Christmas holiday trip. One year, we went to France. Nothing ever goes to plan on these trips. Nothing. Wanna know what's funny? I've started to notice a trend in these trips. Every year, I get left behind. I get forgotten. All I had were my thoughts. As my holiday season became cold, I started to reconcile with the reality that I was forgotten. I recognized the fact that every year, I am home alone. <laughs> Yet I wasn't. What do you mean by that? Were you not alone? Not the entire time. There were intruders, thieves, individuals with the thrust of vengeance. A bird woman! Some were friends, but most, most were enemies. With the ideas of stealing from me, hurting me. And how did these intruders affect you? What did they do? What did you do? I did what I had to. I had to protect myself and my home. I humiliated. I hoisted bricks off the top of a building in hopes it would hit them. I impaled them with a stapler gun. Need my family. I placed my brother's tarantula on top of their faces. <laughs> Have you seen the nail scene in The Quiet Place? I was the inspiration! Me! I did all of this when I was nine. You could never comprehend the horrible things that I did. Oh, the things I did with kerosene. How is any of this even practical? I mean, it doesn't seem like it'd be very effective in stopping the intruders. I left my Legos on the floor in hopes they would step on them. Bare foot! <laughs> no. You monster. In the end, I put them in prison for life. They'll never see another Christmas morning. Ho, ho, ho. After leaving the therapy office, Vivian Kalasta was never seen again. Some have claimed to see him lurking in the shadows on Christmas Eve, his deranged laughter echoing throughout the night. Keep the change, you filthy animal.